first of all. Let's get rid of this asshole. Who was that asshole? Fuck that guy. Never seen him before in my life. Hoggers! Rise Kujikawa Naoto Shirogane and nobody else. Persona 4 Golden. All right. So, last we left off, we had just finished the little bit at the Amagi Inn. And we have the day off because of the cultural festival. It's from Yosuke. Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick up. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. Yosuke sounds very flustered. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging you. So, uh, we already watched this last time, but... Yes! I owe you one, partner! We'll do it again, I guess. Okay, I'll see you at the food court. Yosuke hung up. You should head over to Juness. Juness Food Court. You and Yosuke are working hard putting up the decorations. My back hurts, but I'm finally done. You're fast. <laughs> well, this place is practically my backyard after all. Oh wait, you're done too. But man, that costume's a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. <laughs> we'll we'll choose a different dialogue option this time. <laughs> Sorry, I swear I wasn't trying to hide it or anything. I mean, it's Halloween. You gotta have a costume. Anyway, you were a lifesaver. Thanks. Then again, as long as he's here... Looks like he's having fun. Yeah. Guess he's like our store mascot now. I feel like th that's been the case for the past, like, you know, few months. It's not news or anything. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? Oh, there you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke-kun. That got canceled a while ago. What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. What a cunt. 
<laughs> this this is amazing though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? Well, if you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. <sighs> Stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. <laughs> Yosuke apologized and gave you a thank you gift before you went home. It was the Halloween costumes that weren't used. Obtained Halloween costume. Does it, everyone get their own Halloween costume? Or is it just... It's cold today. Now for our next story. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited... There's been town of one of We're just gonna skip this part. Playing happily in the fog. Oh, that man came to my school. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded, but some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. Yeah, okay. <gasps> you good, Nanako? My head hurts. <sighs> Nanako's face looks red. She has a high fever. You need to put her to bed. You gave Nanako some medicine and had her lie down. Hey, big bro. Are you... going back home in spring? It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. Nanako seems to have fallen asleep. You should take her to her bed later. So the culture festival is over. Old Man Winter is on his way. Now, we're entering the season for winter sports. Figure skating's really popular, isn't it? Alright, this may be gym class, but I'm gonna give you an English lesson. Think of it as mental strength training. Tell me what the figure in figure skating refers to. <sighs> Geometric shapes. That's right, the figure in figure skating is shapes. Originally, figure skaters had to draw specific shapes in the ice and were judged on their accuracy. Personally, when I hear the word figure, I think of action figures. Those skaters look like beautiful dolls anyway. <laughs> you answered correctly. Your knowledge has increased. Alternate timeline. Oh! Armin Kuhn. Um, I was thinking of doing some training today. Wanna join me? Will you spend the day with Chie? I'll check with you later. Bye. Classes have ended for the day. However, because you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until something occurs. Alright, what are we looking at for quests? Right, okay. Taking a quick look around. Uh, we do need to speak with Naoto to begin that social link. However, we kind of probably also want to uh, spend time with Chie. 
Oh, and Yukiko is available too. This might get tough. First, let's talk to Naoto. Oh, common son. Um, thank you for saving me. Er, I wanted to apologize, but I have something to think about. Naoto seems absorbed in thought about something. It seems that you need some sort of opportunity before you can c become closer. Now that you think about it, you do have a card that the man in black gave you. Yes. What's this? He said I'd understand? What's that supposed to mean? It's anthrax. Excuse me, but could you please accompany me for a brief period? I'd like to hear more about what transpired when you were given this card. Please, it won't take long. Samegawa Floodplain I apologize. I wanted to talk someplace quiet. What sort of person gave this to you? A really suspicious dude. Like, overtly suspicious. <sighs> Suddenly appearing in the middle of town and handing you this letter certainly qualifies as suspicious. The man also must also know you well. He wouldn't have entrusted the delivery to anyone he didn't know. But this is a small town. He could easily have looked up my address. Why did why go through the trouble of getting the letter to you? Intriguing. Is he involved with this case? Or another case altogether? If it's me he's after, he could be anyone. Oh, I'll keep the card. The man is most likely still here in Inaba. I cannot drag you further into this. Well, I can't back out now. Now I'm invested. I want to know. I'm interested. Huh? Er, well, it's good to know you're worried about me, but... I apologize. I seem to have a tin ear for other people's feelings. Yosuke-san told me before. I'll look into this card and report my findings to you, so don't worry about me. As our leader, I know that you have a lot on your shoulders, so. Naoto seems to be worried about you. You have a completely different impression of Naoto than when you first met. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Naoto. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Fortune Arcana. You have established the Naoto Shirogane social link of the Fortune Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Fortune Arcana. Now, uh, Naoto's determination in battle has been enhanced. Wake up a knockdown ally. While we are here, why don't we chat a little? Ah, yes. There was something I wanted to ask you. Shall we go home now? Uh, you talked about several aspects of the murders and went home. Neat. Went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. You can work as a tutor today. Yeah, that's probably for the best, actually. Let's go work as a tutor. It's a good day for that. So, one thing I totally forgot about this game that I saw when I was re-watching one of the VODs is that fucking... If you go to bed early, sometimes you can have a dream. And I totally forgot about that. It's something I haven't even thought of. 
in a very long time. Oh, I forgot to talk to the girl on the roof. Nah, whatever. Let's just go... Tutoring. A tutored shoe. Can you teach me this? With regards to question four here, why does it use this formula? Uh, you tried to explain it to him in a way that he could understand. Your expression has increased. Isn't this cheesecake delicious? I bought it from an online shop that's all over the rage these days. It's been the top-ranked store for 15 weeks straight. Just like Shu Chan. First place in everything. Mom! Stop it. Oh, but you're my pride and joy. So, Kamen Kun, about Shu. Do you think he could make it into Tokyo University? I don't want him to ever have to have any hardship. Once he's in a good college, he's set, right? Everyone has a natural talent. Shu Chin's just happens to be how smart he is. I just want him to do a good, uh, to go to a good college so he can get a good job and buy a good house and find a good. Um, don't worry about me, mom. I'm always on top. I am right now, and I always will be. That's right. He really is the perfect child. Shu's mother continues to lavish praise on her son. Yeah. No, you don't have to say anything, Shu. Mister. If I get into a good college, am I really set? No. <laughs> I, I'm gonna give it to you straight. No. Hmm. How would you know? You're not even in college yet. Shu sneers at you. I don't really need to be set just yet. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean anyway. Well, I need to study. There's no point in asking about college unless I'm really smart. She was looking down. Raison d'etre. The fuck does that mean? I don't. No kidding. Shu looks disappointed. It's irrelevant. I only have mom, and the guys at school are all kids. All right. Time's already up. We were still in the middle of that last question. I can stay and help you. I don't think you'll get paid overtime if you work after our time is up. Please teach me. But thank you for offering to do that for me. Yeah, then it's not about the overtime. It's about doing my fucking job. I got cheesecake. Come on. My best. Senpai. Morning. I had so much fun last week. Uh, there was the culture festival, then we had to sleep over with everyone. I was really happy. I thought that I'd uh, never be able to experience things like that anymore. Oh, did you see the weather report? It looks like uh, the weather's going to start getting rough this weekend. Keep a close eye on the Midnight Channel. It hasn't rained lately, so we haven't been able to see it. You might be in for a surprise next time it's on. Let's be careful. Yeah. The town seems to think that the, next, that the case is closed, but the real killer hasn't been caught yet. You tell me goodbye. Good day. I'm not quite used to meeting you here. Do you have any plans after school? Will you spend the day with Naoto? I'll check with you later. Oh. oh. You must already have plans. Next time, then, if you will. What will you do after school? 
Uh, I need to check if Marie is available. Marie. Mary. It's on your mind. Uh, let's try. Sorry, I won't bother you. Uh, I see. Well, then go away. If you don't, then I will. The awkward girl. God damn it. There is no answer. It's all false. Fake. It's false. We made this one up. This one was created by a team of writers. Alright, time to mash the A button and drink some boomer juice. What do we get? I wasn't paying attention. It's probably something stupid. I think this is our last set, so I don't know. Oh no, one more. Okay. So is it five? Pyrojack doll. Hell yeah. Congrats. Please wait a while until the next prize comes in. Do, these don't actually do anything, do they? Why am I doing this? <laughs> do they show up? Well, like, do they show up in my room or something? Whatever. The final lesson. World class bugs. We're not even going to read those, but I want to complete the collection. Um, uh, Marie's not there. We need to make the in the Invincible Mini. Oh my god, we are almost millionaires. Alright, there we go. They boost stats? Oh, courage, etc. Oh, I didn't know that. Wolf tunic. Interesting. What does Teddy get? Oh, Teddy just gets boy clothes. Oh, it's not too bad. Midare Hamon. Bloody kunai. Bashin. Mm. 
I'll think about that. I don't know, I like enervate high odds. Oh yeah. This this is a very big upgrade. Let's fucking Alright, what else? An incredibly heavy shield of pure gold. I mean, it's heavy, but that's gonna be, like, very malleable. It's gonna fucking bend. You're gonna hit someone, and it's, like, gonna be an imprint of their face. Ooh, plus 30 HP. Plus 30 HP isn't really that much. Here, let's let's just do this. Why am I even looking at Teddy's fucking bullshit? Increases strength by five. Eh. Once you get wind amp over wind boost, the bloody kunai is worth it. Wait, do they stack? Wind amp and wind boost? Interdasting. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I think. Check out the Samegawa floodplain real quick. Uh, Death actually might be here. It's Wednesday, right? No. Gorgeous women in hideouts. The fuck does that mean? Is that like the, the fucking ladies on the couch? Or whatever? So we gotta feed the cat. Let's go hang out with Naoto since Marie is not available. Huh? Wait. Huh? Hello. Good day, Common Son. Do you have time to spare with me today? Wait. What? Did, wait. What did Naoto say? Oh, hello, senpai. On your way home, I take it. That reminds me, I saw Marie-san in the shopping district the other day. Uh, it was near that store which sells bizarre crafts. I wonder what she was doing there. I was in a hurry at the time, so I didn't have a chance to talk to her. She's very intriguing, though. Should the opportunity arise, I would like to spend more time with her. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to miss any dialogue. Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Heartbreak, heartbreak, 
Samegawa floodplain. It seems Naoto has something to report about the card you gave her. As you can see, nothing is written on it. It's just a plain white card. But it does feel a bit stiff, given its thinness. Without any indication of its contact, however, I have no idea who sent it. I chalk it up as a prank. Really? <laughs> yes. It's quite common. Naoto shrugs. Naoto's cell phone is ringing. Ah, excuse me. Yes, it's me. Ah. Yakushiji-san. What's the matter? A thief? In the Shirogane estate? Yes. Yes. I see. I don't keep anything in that room that I'd miss terribly. You've already reported this to the police, I assume. Then I'll leave the rest to you. As long as Grandpa is safe, it doesn't matter. I can't take my eyes off of this case yet. Now it's hung up quickly. What happened? I'm gonna pretend like I wasn't listening in. Oh. Sorry. You heard, didn't you? Naoto looks a bit uncomfortable. It's from Yakushiji, my grandpa's secretary. It appears someone broke into the Shirogane estate. My room was targeted, and he wanted to know if I could think of anything particular, uh, or any particular item the thief might have been after. Several items pertaining to me were also stolen from grandpa's inventory. Uh, I don't know about those, but my belongings aren't of any particular value, so... Remember that card? Yeah, fuck it. Yes. That's precisely what I was thinking. Naoto nods. Regardless, you don't have to worry about me. No pressing matters to attend to? I'm not sure how to react to you... Uh, ...worrying about me. Naoto seems exceptionally edgy. Crawling in my skin! Invigorate one. Uh, I don't think that's worth it. Invigorate one. <laughs> it's like nothing. Yeah, let's, let's not do that. I'll see you again. Practically against her will, he walked Naoto to her house before going home. Welcome back. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Oh boy. However, Ryotaro Dojima is definitely more important in this situation. Hey! Hey, Kamen, what's wrong? Bored? Absolutely. Uh. Dojima sighs, but he looks a bit happy. Spend time talking with Dojima. You feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. Poggers Champion.
Today is culture day, so you have the day off from school. What should you do today? Dojima provided you with this shelf. What will you do with it? Gaze at a model. This is cute. How are you doing, Naoto? Naoto? Did I just call her Naoto? Nanako. Jesus Christ. Everything's blending together. Got Naoto on the brain. I'm just taking a quick look around. Making sure there's nothing of importance going on anywhere. Is great at your Juness. Uh, don't you think it'd be nice if everything was done for you? That's what I call convenience. Kind of like driving a car. All you gotta do is step on the gas and the car does the rest. If life was like that. Uh, what am I saying? Sorry. I tend to think of crazy things when I'm bored. You know, I got this character's name at the beginning of the game. I can't remember it for the life of me. Every day is great at your Juness. Yeah, there's basically nothing going on because it's fucking raining. Alright, come on, big money, no whammies. Game sucks. Zero out of ten. Leaving a negative review on Yelp. Uh, let's see if there's anything new in the uh, the thing. And also, let's give that girl the invincible mini. You showed her the Invincible Mini. Oh, how wonderful! Yes! This is what it was like. Risqué, and a little dangerous. Oh, how I shined back then. Thank you. Because of you, I can go on. I do everything now for my husband and children. I'm only a faithful country wife these days, and that's okay. I'll give this to you. I don't need it anymore. Obtained disco fan. Yeah, okay. Neko Shogun doll. Yeah, alright. I mean, it's not like this takes any time. Tesla coil. Alright. 
All right. Is there even anything to do right now? I guess I could fish. Every day is great at your Jonas. Like nobody's around. Fucking place sucks. I guess I could check the fusion forecast real quick. Oh boy. Who's ready to get yelled at? Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. Hmm? There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is neatly written on it. Song of the Fallen Angel. The fallen angel is chained down, her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice, her last breaths full of black despair. Do you know her name? Will she eventually return to nothing? Forced into the realm of oblivion? No. Her requiem will become a roar and tear away the mask of hypocrisy. Do you know her name? She who will strike down the cowards and tear down the lies. That's right. Her name is... What is it? This must be another of Marie's poems. Wah! Wah! What is this? Why is this here? What the hell is happening? I remember putting this in my bag. Hey. Why are you reading this? What's the hell? What the hell's the matter with you? Do you want me to strike you down? Calm down, Miss Fallen Angel. You are disturbing our guest. That's why I'm shouting at him. Huh? Wait, Miss Fallen Angel? I hate you. I hate, 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 hate you. Don't read my things. Marie returns to her seat. Horrible things. Uh, being muttered under her breath. Hate you. I hate you. You know? Alright. Let's see here. Bonus social link experience and skill change. Oh boy! Oh boy! It's actually kind of... It's kind of good. Uh... We don't even have that many. Yeah, we don't have a lot of personas right now. Hmm. We have none of the lovers. None of the fortune. The wheel of fortune. We have a few of the sun. Grr. All right. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think I need any of these. All right. 
Huh? Damn. Unlucky. Unlucky. You hate to see it, you know? Mm. I don't even know what to do. Like, it's basically just fish or go into the television for no reason. All right, we're fishing, boys. All right, going for the huge fish. We got this. Easy. Easy! Um, are Naoto bike rides worthwhile? Okay, good to know. Uh, the double? Do I hear three? Do I hear three? The triple! Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, baby, a triple. Four? Ah, uh, unlucky. All right, let's see if we can get some uh, red goldfish. No red goldfish. Unlucky. Hot bit. Hot bit. Welcome back. You can work as a tutor today. You can work as a janitor in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, duh. Can you chill with Nanako? That's a good question. I forgot to check. Oh. It's going to rain soon. The TV said so. 
isn't ready to advance yet. Oh. Rank seven. Nanako looks happy. Couple days of rain. You know what that means. Senpai! Sup? Been a while since it rained last, hasn't it? The weather report says it's gonna rain all- <laughs> The rain's gonna last all night. <sighs> Sorry, had to burp. We're gonna have to watch the Midnight Channel. You're right. Only we know that the real killer is still out there, right? Now that I think about it, we have to be even tougher now that the cops aren't on the case. Yeah. It's truth. It's facts. He's spitting. Hey, Hosoi-chan. You were at, uh, Yomanaido Bookstore the other day, weren't you? Wow! You saw me? I was buying the latest bully teacher. The shopping district is getting empty, with Juness taking all their business. Uh, you could hear a <laughs> Kangodori drip over there. Hey kids, quit going to Juness so often. Visit your local shopping district too. Hmm, who can tell me what kind of bird a Kangodori is? You, Hanacha. You look like you have no problem with silence. Wait. Is there really a bird called the Kanko Dori? I thought it was just a saying. Sorry, Common, I have no idea. What? <laughs> Fucking, can, can I get some help here? I have not the slightest. Kaku. <laughs> it is? Oh my god. You gave him the answer you think is correct. Yep, that's right. I knew you'd get it, Hanachan. A Kanko Dori is a variety of Kaku. The names are even a bit similar. Uh, it's chirping sounds sad, which is what led to that particular figure of speech. There's even a famous busto haiku about it. Kankodori, let me feel the loneliness in my loneliness in my grieving heart. Guess I should put that on the test. Phew, that was close. Thanks. Yosuke appreciates you. Your expression has increased. Based. Based, based, cringe, based, cringe. Uh, I'm assuming that girl is not on the roof today because it's raining. Maybe somebody's still available. Please. For the love of God. I don't want to fish again. like that. Hmm. 
All right, let's see if there's anyone on the first floor. Well, there's Yukiko. But I don't think she's available. Hey. We'll go hmm. later. Which means not today, Lamau. Common Kun, I saw the results of the midterms. I'm so proud of you. Here's something nice as a reward. Wait, what? There was a little slip up and I only have the male version. I look forward to how well you do on your later exams too. <laughs> Man, transfer dude. How did this happen? My pranks are my pride and joy. I got so distracted by Rosette in a swimsuit that I missed my chance to set one off. What? Set what off? That should be against the rules or something, damn it. Wait, was this guy gonna fucking set off like a bottle rocket or something? In the middle of the pageant? What a god. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine that. That would have been hilarious. Alright, come on, come on. Big money, no whammies. Tesla coil. Alright. Alright, we have a little bit of extra money. I'd like to introduce you to a new arrival. These outfits harken back to the simple heroic fantasies of children. Here they come. The Neo Featherman set. Evil shall not go unpunished. Bedwetting and cheating will not be permitted either. Style is to die for. I'm Reiko Osa, char charismatic fashionista. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Absolutely. Worthwhile, honestly. Oh yeah, Cafe Chagall. Origi uh, owner's original blend, 5,000 yen. Yeah, it's sure. I mean, there's nothing to do in fucking Inaba right now since it's raining, so... Cafe Chagall, inside. Here you go. I'm impressed that you had the uh, in intestinal fortitude to set foot in here, after all I said. My name is Mumon. I'm the owner of this establishment, and even though this cafe is a chain, I absolutely refuse to serve mediocre coffee. I will sacrifice my standards for no one. I've got an older brother. I don't keep in contact with him much nowadays, but... <laughs> I caused him quite a bit of trouble. He became a Buddhist monk, following in our family tradition. But he's socially awkward. I wonder how he's doing. Sorry about that. When I start reminiscing, I have a hard time controlling myself. Well, drink up. It's a sublime cup of coffee. No, it's more than that. It's an experience. If you underestimate it, it'll break you. Okay.
the inside of your mouth is getting numb. But now it's... It's sharply acidic. Yet the body is full and rich. With sweet undertones. This flavor, it's bold. Too bold. As you're swept up in a black torrent of flavors, you desperately reach towards something and grasp it. Obtained the Dia skill card. Skills that show the card icon depend on the persona. The icon cannot be passed on through fusion. Developing more personas will help you to gain more skill cards, so experiment and see what you can find. Hey kid, I'm closing up soon. Judging by the current time of day, it appears that you just lost consciousness. I guess your palate was overstimulated by mature flavors and you succumbed. You're still a child. It's late. You must return home. Wow. You passed out because the Dad's coffee was late. too good. Did he forget his keys? Maybe don't let Nanako answer the door. It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Hmm. This is the Dojima residence. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh huh. All right. It's okay. I know it's your job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Big bros with me. So, okay. Bye. -bye. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. All right. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. Nanako is smiling cheerfully. <laughs> it's cold today, too. Wanna bring out the kotatsu? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. That'll make it nice and warm. Ooh. Ooh. Pull the, uh, the kotatsu out from the closet. I'm turning it on. What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. Unlucky. Nanako is disappointed. Here. Let's get the best one. Huh? We can buy one? At you nest? Yay! <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to Juness. Absolutely. You promised to go shopping with Nanako. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. Oh, no. Wait. Never mind. It's a silhouette. But it looks even blurrier than usual. Can't even tell what the gender the person is. Hey, did you see that? Yeah. It was really blurry, but you saw someone on the screen, right? Damn it. Is there going to be another kidnapping? Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. From that angle, it looked like a very certain someone. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. But when it got closer up, I was like, oh no. But maybe it's not that person. Has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. Yosuke hung up. You decide to go to bed.
I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? Nope. From a fuzzy picture like that, no way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Hmm. Huh, what's the matter? Oh yeah, they stuck you with the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Namako-chan and I'm serious about living! From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream or your imagination. Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm back. Hey, Dojima. Welcome back. Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Is oh, that boy. A letter? It's for you, but... The letter is addressed to Mr. Common Cold. But the name and address of the sender are nowhere to be found. There are no stamps or postmarks on it. There's only one sentence. If you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Could he have sent another warning because another person appeared on the Midnight Channel? Hey, what the hell is this? Not often we get letters with no return address on them. So, I was right. <sighs> yes. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? What are you up to? Well... Cat's out of the bag. He decided to tell him the truth. So you're not going to be honest with me. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. Wait, so we told him the truth, and he said, so you're not going to be on. Okay. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. I will have the truth from you today. We'll continue this somewhere else, but I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good, got that? It's all right. We're, we're not fighting. <laughs> we'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed. 
Okay. Nanako is scared. We'll be back soon. Okay. I'll be waiting. Later that night, at a room inside the police station. I'll hold on to this. He took away your cell. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? All right. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth! I decide to explain everything to him. Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. It's raining tonight, right? Man, would you look at that TV there? Enough! That's enough! I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. It's a shame. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. I mean, he's not wrong. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. Nobody... Ah, God, no, not my microphone, not right now. God damn it. Oh, is it bad? Nope. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I, I, I'll just let the game play out while I do this. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. All right, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Meanwhile, at the Juness Grocery Department. Uh, why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? Uh, I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age! We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <sighs> Thank you, Yosuke. So to use it, press... Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was gonna remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out?
Uh, I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promise to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. Still not picking up. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Huh? Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? Alright, I seem to have it fixed for now. Oh no. He took Big Bro to the police station. Oh no. W wait, wait, what? He got taken to the police station? Oh no. Stop blabbering and oh, let me God. talk too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy speaking. Teddy, I swear to God, I. I can break these cuffs! You can't break those cuffs. Let's get together and eat snacks again. Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait, was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Oh my god. Yo, were they busting me out? Meanwhile, at a room in the police station. The time passes slowly. This is a really nice room. It's midnight. It was raining outside when you got here. Something may appear on the midnight channel. Someone appeared. It's blurry, but you can see a small silhouette. It's a girl. Most likely someone in grade school. This is Nanako. God damn it, I knew it. You can't see her clearly. But there's no way you wouldn't mistake Nanako, whom you see every day. Nanako is on the Midnight Channel. Your Uncle Dojima took away your cell phone. There's no way to contact your friends right now. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. Oh no. Meanwhile, on the road to the Dojima residence. Wasn't that Nanako-chan on the Midnight Channel just now? How could it be her? I know what you're thinking, but Nanako-chan does fit the pattern. Oh, fuck. She was the one who was interviewed. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? 
Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako chan. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god! I should have realized it much sooner! But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. What are we gonna do? Nanako-chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun too. They'll explain the situation there. All right, I'll join them right away, and I'll let Yukiko and Risei-chan know. Yes, please do. See, I didn't think it was Nanako because of the way, like, the head looked. I was like, oh no, it's too big. Like, this, this is not, this is not a kid. Or is too small. It's not a kid. You know, the hair, the hair is making the head look bigger. Nope. Hmm? What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako-chan's missing. What? What do you mean? N Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Tojima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... We have to hurry. Why? Why, Nanako? Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, all right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not going to wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! Dojima left by himself. <sighs> what am I going to do? Dojima-san's run off half-cocked. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too. So please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. So let all of us out, retard. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! 
the hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Mm -hmm. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean... Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Yeah. Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Same as the others. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? Um... Be a friend of Dojima's? Eh, probably not. Dojima san pretty much keeps to himself at the station. The only one Nanako chan might know would be me, his partner. Uh, I've been here this whole time, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Adachi. Hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? It's the fucking mailman. I think we can rule out the possibility that oh, no one happened it. to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. It's the mailman! Also, hold on. I, I gotta fix my microphone. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck! No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the time. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? 
I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is gonna be a lot more difficult than... Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Oh my god, it's him. Taro Namatame. It's the dude! The Anka singer's husband. Yeah. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. The address is... it's not far from here. Ideal. I give him the clue and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Oh boy, anime. Hang in there, Nanako. Daddy's coming for you. All right, come on. Don't fucking kill yourself. God damn it. What the? Hey, is that smoke? An accident? Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Dojima-san! Are you alright? Where's Nanako? Ambulance, quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call backup too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? <gasps> what happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house when I saw him drive past me. Mm. <laughs> Gave chase, and he... Damn it. And where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find him. Uh, please. But how? Man, what's that in the back of the truck? Oh, yeah. Maybe there's clues in the truck. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me... If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. Yeah. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell's he mean by that? <gasps> this... 
It's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Mm -hmm. Namatame is the killer. We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and. Wait a sec. We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? Well, that's just a risk we'll have to take. It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san. Later, in a room at the hospital. You guys. Are you all right? I almost look like hell right now. Yeah. <laughs> Nanako. She's my reason for living. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. Oh. <sighs> she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. And here I am. <coughs> when she needs me most, I'm... I'm helpless. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Dochi, my son. If anything happens to Nanako, I'll make Namatame pay. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please. Save her for me. All right. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. Trust us. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. <laughs> 